right, Algebra 1, Lesson 44. This one is on addition of rational expressions with equal dominant denominators, and then we're also, the second portion is doing unequal denominators. So, for example, if you saw 1 11th plus 2 11th, you've been taught to write this vertically, okay? And you would go on and take in your denominator. You do not add your denominators. Hopefully, you've learned that by now, but it needs to be stuck in your memory so you remember to do that. And then you just add your numerators. 2 plus 1 is 3. So the final answer for this problem would just be 3 elevenths because we have the same denominator. Okay? So we're going to work with those kind of problems but with letters in it. So, for example, let me show you a few of these. All right? Now, in the book, they are writing them horizontally, and I'm going to go on and write them vertically. Okay? So, 4 over... 2x squared plus y minus 6 over 2x squared plus y. Now, first thing I want you to notice is that both of these are, um, they are both the same denominator. Okay, that's good. It's less work. It's not as hard. So now all you have to do is subtract the numerators, okay, 4 minus 6. All right, now, oh, I didn't mean to uh, write something else down. So this is 6ax. Let me say that. Okay, so now when you do this problem, okay, um, if we were to write this out, we would say 4 minus this. So I'm going to go and write that, 4 minus 6ax. Okay, and then our denominator is 2x squared plus y. That will not change. That is what will remain because we have the same denominator, which is what we want. Now, let's look back up at this. We would write 4 minus 6ax. Now, I cannot minus this because this would be um, early on when we started talking about like terms. This 6ax would be like 6 elephants. And this just four is like tigers. If you've learned from me in the um, earlier lessons, you will understand what I mean by that. So I cannot take four tigers and subtract them from six elephants, okay? So we need to have the same amount to subtract from, all right? So this just stays just like it is. Four minus six AX over two X squared plus Y. All right, let's do a few more to make sure you're understanding all of this, okay? The next one is going to be, again, the um, it writes it out sideways, and I'm going to write it out down um, vertically. So 5 over a squared plus 7y, okay, minus 3a squared plus 7y, plus... Z, and I'm going to put a line through it to show you that it's a Z, and then a squared plus 7Y. Now, again, this is the denominator on all three, so we have a common denominator, so that is the answer for the denominator. Okay, just like with any other problem um, that you've worked with with numbers, once you get your denominator, that's what the answer is on the bottom. Now, let's do the top. It says 5 minus 3 plus z. Now, you ask yourself, I have a z here, which would be like um, a dog, and then numbers would be like cats. So I have 5 cats minus 3 cats plus 1 dog. Okay, the z would be the dog. So I can subtract this portion, 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. Okay, but can I do anything else? No, because this one's cats and this one's dogs, and they stay separated. Two cats plus dog, and then over that. Okay, so that would be our answer. Two plus Z over A squared plus 7Y. All right, let's do a little bit harder one, just to make sure you're getting it. 5X plus 7 over... 5a squared x minus 3x minus 2 over 5a squared x. 
All right, what's the answer? Well, our denominator, I'm going to go and write it over here. Our denominator answer is 5a squared x. Again, that's easy because we want the same denominator. Now we just have to do the numerator. So I'm going to write down what it says. 5x plus 7 minus 3x minus 2. Okay. Again, we want to try to find like terms. I see that I have something with an x and then just numbers. So I'm going to make my ones with the x dogs. So I have a dog and then dog and then cat and cat. Okay? So let's put our dogs together and our cats together. So I'm going to want to change my minuses to plus negative just because we work like that. It makes it easier. So now let's take our 5x, and if you want to rewrite it, so it would be 5x plus the negative 3x. That's what I'm doing right now, which would become 2x. Right? 2x. Now we're done with those. Now let's do 7 plus a negative 2, which would be a 5. Actually, yes, 5. So this would be plus 5. All right? And then so the answer would become 2x plus 5 over 5a squared x. Got it? Feel like you're understanding it? Yep. Okay, great. All right, next. Um, we're going to do 44, the second part. And I'll do that in just a minute. 